found a place to hide. A Faraday cage? Uh, that's not it. I left the structures behind. It's an ordinary rock formation. Even better. You have to catch a breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the model number of the rover? <sighs> what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Uh, Emmett 2001. Oh, could that be it? Uh, I see. Bigger. Emmett's are equipped with a black box. Please find it. labels black boxes as data lockers. I have the box, but it's all locked up. Really? Uh, you must have changed the equipment because I have no information about the key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. Something resembling a socket and a plug. I think I have something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. And um, presto. It won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. <sighs> same guts, hey? Just like with humans. Okay, it's in. Just a moment. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can finally rest. It'll take me a while to dig through all the records. The rover was connected to a base. The one from the slides? Uh, most probably. No one is transmitting from the base. I'd suggest you lie down. The storm's raging. <sighs> I'm going to sleep now. Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. B? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now, waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is...
Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... The next is... Yes, sir? I'm here. Well done. That should buy us some time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. Let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. Should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. All you have to do is move away from this cluster of metal. Will do. As far as possible, anyway. I think I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area in front of me. Astrogator? The city is no longer visible. We need to decide what to do next. Dragonfly? Over? Are you there? Yes, yes, please excuse me. I was in the infirmary. Is the coast clear? Yep, all clear. Good. Give me a moment. I'm looking at the satellite images. Have you checked on Koval, by any chance? Yes, among other things. And? How is he? He's stable. But? There are no buts, Doctor. You'll see him soon. All right, I've got it. Sector AZ-25... Let's say AZ-2504. Please check if it's fit to land. Like I said, it looks good. Clear opening, flat terrain. Excellent. Please go there while I prepare the lander. I'll just pack Artie inside. So that's it. You're taking me to the Dragonfly. We're flying away from here for good. We have no other choice, Doctor. At this stage of the mission, we can only minimize losses. You understand that, don't you? Yes, sir. Are you sure that's all we can do? Couldn't we? Don't you even think about it. About what? You didn't let me finish, sir. Yeah, but I know what might be on your mind. Going back for Gorski's body, contacting the Alliance, or continuing research on your own. These are not possibilities. They're certain death. Please remember, we have just one lander left. As a commander, I must first ensure your safe return. Only then I'll send Artie with other... tasks. at a time.
don't need the land back, Master Gator. What do you mean? You know very well what I mean, sir. I'm not coming back. Master, this is sheer madness. You're heading straight to the enemy base. This is the only way I can find out what's going on here. What happened to our people? I, I have several hours of travel ahead of me. You can still turn back. No. And if you try to convince me otherwise, I'll just turn the radio off. Fine. I'll stop insisting. Please just understand the position you put me in. As a commander, now I have to decide whether to risk detection by the Alliance. I'll understand if you find it necessary to leave. I would do it if I were you. Well, then you're lucky I'm me. Please don't turn off your radio. I'm not going anywhere. their coordinates. Yes, no. Yes? I understand that no matter what I say won't change your mind. But please be careful. First, observe them from a distance. And only then take action. I will be cautious. Like always. Just because I'm acting against your orders doesn't mean I intend to be foolish, sir. It's comforting in its own way that even in an act of insubordination you want to remain professional. I'll let you know when you cross their perimeter. Once you've crossed, hide the rover. Behind a bend or under a ledge, telemetry observation will be vital. Once we know the camp's weaponry situation, we'll decide what to do next. Copy that. signal. Now you're near enough that they can see the rover. The base is in front of me. Already? is flying over their base. Can you tell me more? Yes, sir, I'm not kidding. If you don't stop, I'll do it for you. What the... How did you do that? Yes, sir. I respected your decision not to come back. For while I disapprove of it as a commander, I agree with your conscience. But I won't allow you to kill yourself in foolish haste. I turn the rover's engine off remotely, and I'm not turning it on until you've concluded your reconnaissance. Understood? Did you understand? Yes. Apparently I have no other choice. After all, you said yourself that you would be cautious. Why the sudden change of mind? I... I don't know. I guess I'm more nervous about this meeting than I'd like to admit. The Alliance will gladly take advantage of your every weakness, Yasna. You must keep it together. It's 15, 20 meters high. It has an upright silhouette. It's a field base, multi-module, for about several dozen people. Rather well equipped. Ah, 
has lots of transporters here. I'm not surprised. Missions with a large crew, transport modules were an integral part of the field camp. Remind me, how many crew members were they supposed to send on the Invincible? Over a hundred. Great. They have a second antimat. As if the first one wasn't enough. Is it active? Uh, probably not, but Proton alone knows. What about people? Can you see anyone? Not yet. Maybe they're hiding in modules. Most of them for sure, but I'd be surprised if they didn't assign anyone to guard duty. I see someone. Just one? For now, yes. Is that all? I think so. And please keep going. We can assume that their equipment has already detected your presence. Or it will soon enough. There's no point in further postponing the inevitable. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that was a waste of time. Judging by your observation, this is a research camp, not a military one. Which increases your chance of survival and decreases the likelihood of detecting the dragonfly. I don't know about you, but this is a valuable piece of information for me. So let me be clear, your situation is highly precarious. We cannot trust the Alliance or expect them to be willing to help. If things don't go our way, I'll do everything in my power to negotiate your safe return to the Commonwealth. Worst case scenario, we'll opt for a prisoner exchange. Until then, please cooperate with them. And during the interrogation, don't resist. Astrobiologists generally do not possess information that's sensitive to the Commonwealth. At worst, you'll give away the details of our last mission. Hang on, sir. I'm not going there to give away secrets. On the contrary, I'm the one with questions. I need to find out what's going on. I'm afraid it's not that simple. Your only chance to get any information out of them is to offer something in return. Prove that you're a valuable... Hostage? I was looking for a better word, but yes, a valuable hostage. There's no one here. Nobody. Impossible. Even if there aren't many of them in the camp, someone would have noticed you. I'm not blind, sir. There's really no one here. Don't get out yet. Could be some kind of trick. Not a living soul. Better for your safety if they make the first move. If you really don't see anyone. All right then, enter the base, just slowly, with your hands up. seems to be slipping through my fingers like sand. So much sand. You're so tired, Jasna. <laughs> because I am tired, Astrogator.
got to lose anyway? Your life, Doctor. I'm going in. anyone either. Moving on. It's still quiet. It's eerie. Empty. Everywhere, just... I'm at the central module. In the headquarters. You walked in? Just like that? Yeah. The doors were open. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. I'm at the control station. Several units can be controlled from here. I wonder which... I got the feed. But I can't get it to move. It's got a weak signal. Must be too far away. One's unavailable. Probably out of reach. Or they took it. One is a flying unit. Some sort of probe. Flying over the base? Correct. Can you extract data from it? Sure. Never too much data. Especially in the current situation. I just need to find a place to land it.
whilst traversing this planet, I'm becoming more and more convinced that what I know is not the same as what exists. What can exist? I must admit it's an interesting thought, but quite disturbing. I have a record of their mission. Each step, location, units, including dates. I'm all ears. Day Zero, landing place. Their main ships in sector AQ-28. The Invincible? What? They didn't move it? Huh, seems so. I'll try to track it down. Please tell me what else is in there. Like us, they became interested in the ocean. They got there on the seventh day. Hmm. Quite late. Guess they weren't in a hurry. Before setting up this base, they were stationed not far from here but seemed very determined to reach this area. They dug a vast system of tunnels. When did they finally get here? On the 15th day of the mission. They conducted research and during excavations found you won't guess. Metal structures. So we had no chance to outrun them. Yeah. And they were already at an advanced stage of work when we were still in orbit. In the end, they sent a convoy to a neighboring sector. So that was their last move? Well, there's no information about their return. Maybe I'll find them there. Highly probable. Do you know what the current day of their mission is? They left on the 25th day. That's all I know. Well, I can't back out now. I have to follow them. Well, it's your decision. Although I admit I'm also starting to wonder what you'll find. People, Astrogator. They must be somewhere. I'm sending a satellite. Soon I'll have an image of the area where the ship landed. We'll see if the Invincible's still there. I'll continue to search their base. On the 24th day, they sent a convoy north to the sector. Oh, to the sector where I found Gorski. You suspect they went after him, having detected his signal? Oh, surely they could detect him. They, they could have detected all of us. But would they really do something about it? Well, for some reason they left their base. I'm assuming that has something to do with it. Astrogator, this doesn't make any sense. You can't just wrap up the whole operation. Anyway, the first thing they would take were vehicles and equipment. Only the people are missing here. They've got a device for intercepting alarm signals. There isn't much of it. Single record. The guy survived. Someone saved him. Interesting. Coordinates changed... Uh, upwards. Which indicates he was evacuated by air. Huh. The 
The alarm signal broke off high above the ground. One, eight, five, six, one. Seven, five, four. Yes, it's Gorski. You said he died during the night. Correct, I did. I couldn't let you go back to those ruins. D did you send the lander? When? While you were still on your way to the base. Artie carried him on board, secured him. Gorski's in the infirmary now. How could you, sir? I believe Gorski was dead. I, I blame myself for his death. And now you dare say you did it for my own good? If I hadn't lied, you'd be willing to risk everything to save him. His chances were insanely small. I had to get you out first. If Gorski had died because you waited too long... But he didn't. Thanks to you, Yasna. I have a feeling we're in the dark. We have to find a way. Agreed. You should move on. Uh, that's not quite what I meant. But yeah, I probably should. Oh, bollocks. The excavation site is behind a force field. That's where the convoy was going. If these are Dirac emitters, that's an impenetrable barrier. There must be a field switch in the base. Uh, but where? In a way, that was a rather unusual maneuver, to cut off the path back to base. The silhouette I saw. Yes? It's just a robot. When you admire a beautiful view, an hour seems like a minute. But a minute on a hot stove will seem longer than an hour. Does Regis 3 feel like a hot stove? Sometimes. One more thing. I realize we still need to work together. So I'll submit my reports as usual. But that doesn't mean everything's fine. Understood, Doctor. 
I appreciate your professionalism. I heard that the difference between past, present, and future is nothing but a persistent illusion. That's a quote, right? Yeah. I'm not sure why it came to mind. Force fills down. I open the passage. We can follow the convoy route now. When you're ready, Doctor. One more minute, and our satellite will be over this ship. Oh, we're lucky. Clouds are low. Are you still looking? Mm-hmm. Not here either. Ah! Bingo! Yes? Found it. They're still on the planet. Didn't fly away. Good to know. Thank you. I should move. Oh, there's no time. I'm leaving the base. Going after the convoy. Legs were cummed 
flying saucer. It landed near the excavation site. Don't risk trying to fly it, Yasna. Nothing guarantees it works. I didn't even... Uh, contrary to what you believe, sir, I don't have a death wish. still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just... Well, I've got to the place where they were digging. It's hard to miss. They set up a huge machine at the center. It must weigh hundreds of, no, thousands of tons. The ship that brought all of this must be... Gigantic, yes. The Invincible surpasses any of our units, even the largest orbital stations. In my opinion, it's a bit excessive. Oh, well, for me, it's quite impressive. That was exactly their goal, to impress. Such giants aren't very practical, though. I would even say that the larger the ship, the bigger the problems. 